Mr. Rahul Gandhi has landed himself in a soup. I don't know what ramifications are there for this, but looks like guarantee cards, including a form that you need to fill in order to encash your 1 lakh rupees per year, has been given to many voters. Imagine our surprise when we saw that in front of Bengaluru post office, many people queued up. Likewise, in front of the Congress party office in Lucknow, many people queued up. I'm going to show you a couple of things. One is the slide deck setting the narrative. What the Congress party did in order to win so handsomely in uh, Uttar Pradesh, as well as they tried doing the same thing in Karnataka. To some extent, I think they succeeded because they got more seats this time than previously. At least for the people of Karnataka, I think they deserve it because they've already been cheated once by zero balance debit cards, which were purported to have 5,000 rupees balance that could be encashed in any mall of your choice. When they went to encash it, there was nothing in there. So this is not new. Congress loves to cheat people. And I've told you about what happened in National Herald frauds, as well as how the fake currency found its way into a one community, enriching them at the expense of the other. You know, this is the sad part about India. I can't tell the story of how fake currency got distributed among just one community in 220 characters. In fact, I need 70,000 words, even to bring a story which is fictional in nature, but it is full of facts. This happened in India. This is still finding expression in India by way of people buying uh, properties at ludicrous overheads, like 10x the asking price of the market, because they want to supplant themselves. They want to start uh, taking over one area, either it is love jihad or conversion, whatever it is. This is now happening far too often for it to be a coincidence. So, who, if you are still thinking that, oh, this guy is a bigot, he is an Islamophobe, he is pointing it out, well, think again. Go back and watch Kerala's story. If you don't understand the story once, maybe you should watch it more than once until the reality sinks in. Very sad as to what is happening, but Unless the majority wakes up, there is not one, uh, there's not much one can do. So here is a slide deck. Rahul G. There was a movie called Bluff Master. And when I saw what was going on, that's the name that came to my mind. Bluff Master selling false promises to the electorate. What happened? Shiv Arur, and I'm going to give you the Twitter handle, viral report today by Ashish of Archtak. And we are thankful to Ashtak for giving us portions of the video. We are not showing the entire thing. We are just going to show some of it. On women who turned up this morning at the Congress office in Lucknow, demanding cards for the 1 lakh rupee guarantee promised by the party during its campaign. See this, these were the cards that were given, which amazingly appear to be given only to women of one community. Somebody needs to do a research on how many women of other communities got these cards. It's not enough that 4 lakh crores of fake currency got printed over a period of time and got distributed to this community. Now you are trying to do the same thing with the hard-earned money of the population. I don't understand how the Yadav community went and voted for, uh, I don't know what they were drunk on. Maybe they just used the same thing and said that you are going to get 1 lakh per year. You just have to sit at home. Use Facebook. This is for the youth, unemployed youth. Use Facebook and we will pay you the money. All kind of ludicrous promises that he has given. In fact, if you look closely in this form, you will see that the, all your loans will be written off. You are going to get 400 per day. I don't know how they came up with that. I have a logic for that. 8,000 per month, right? How does 8,000 per month translate to 400 per day? They are only counting working days. So they are assuming that there are 20 working days in a month. Sounds very Pitroda-ish, guys. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that an American-based guy would come up with. So, 400 times 20 is 8,000. That's how they are saying 400 per day. Mm. And also, they are having the thing, uh, the first line is 1 lakh per year. Then there's a nice authentic looking form that you need to fill out. Your name, address and details. And then they said, you go to the Congress office and drop it off. This was the Lucknow office. I said, this is not enough. They also were told, this is in Karnataka, that you should go and open a digital account in post office. So what happens? Thousands of women lined up outside the post office in Bengaluru to open their account in which Rahul Gandhi promised that he will deposit money 8,500 every month. Kata, cut, kata, cut, cut. 
if they vote for him. <laughs> for 70 years, this is what Congress and Gandhi Nehru family have done, cheat the voters with false promises. And this tweet was put out by Amitabh Chaudhary at Mithila Wala. You can go back and take a look at it. Of course, I'm going to give you the links in the description section. You can go and take a look at it. Here is the crowd of women voters. How many here do you see are non-Muslim? If you can even locate one, I'd be happy to, uh, you know, you can put it by way of comments as to how many you can find. So, this is what happened. Mr. Rahul Gandhi, you have turned out to be a huge bluff master. Uh, I've got another one to show you, which is the actual video of people being interviewed. Here we go. कांग्रेस को समर्थन मिला है और उसके बाद से ही अब कहीं ना कहीं उत्तर प्रदेश की राजधानी लखनऊ में जो कांग्रेस की गारंटी थी उसको लेकर लोग कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस के बाहर महिलाएं पहुंची हैं आपको दिखाए हम की ये कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस है और यहाँ पर महिलाएं अपना कांग्रेस से गारंटी कार्ड लेकर आई हैं और इनका मानना है कि अभी ये कार्ड जो है जिस पर मिला है इनको बांटा जाएगा और इस पर जमा करेंगे और ये साथ साथ आपको हम दिखाएं कि ये जो कार्ड है इसमें एक लाख वेतन हर शिक्षित युवा की पहली नौकरी पक्की ये कांग्रेस का गारंटी कार्ड है जो इनको मिला है और ये महिलाएँ इसको भर कर लेकर आई हैं इसके साथ साथ इसमें ये आप भर कर लेकर आई हैं हमारे साथ कई महिलाएँ मुस्लिम उनसे पूछते हैं कि ये क्या वो लेकर आई हैं भर के और क्या कह रहे हैं ये बताइए क्या नाम है आपका जी तस्लीम ये आप भर कर लेकर आई कहा, कहा से मिला था कार्ड आपको ये यहीं से कांग्रेस पार्टी जी तो भर कर ले आई तो जमा कर रहे हैं ये जी अभी वो कार्य बहुत लंबर पड़ रहा है इस पे लंबर जी तो कितने आपके फॉर्म है तीन है इस फॉर्म को जमा करने के बाद उन्होंने क्या कहा है क्या मिलेगा आपको नहीं कुछ तो क्या फायदा मिलेगा कुछ तो बताया हो बस यही है की एक लाख रूपए वाला ये जो स्कीम है इसका पैसा मिलेगा महिलाओं को सुबह से दौड़ाए पड़े तो ये पब्लिक है और मुस्लिम महिलाएं हैं साफ तौर से कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस के बाहर पहुंची हैं इनको फॉर्म नहीं दिया गया आरोप ये लगा रही हैं और ये सभी फॉर्म को लेने आई हैं आप देखिए काफी देर से खड़ी हुई हैं दोपहर में आकर और इनका मानना है कि यहाँ कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस जो है वो इनको फॉर्म देगी आपको फॉर्म मिला नहीं मिला फॉर्म कहाँ मिला बारह बजे बुलाए हम लोग खड़े हम लोग मतलब फॉर्म नहीं मिला और हम लोग जो है तो 11 बजे अभी क्या बता रहे हैं कहें था कि 12 सवा बारह पे मिलने का जो इतनी पब्लिक खड़ी सकी उस फॉर्म में क्या होगा बताया कुछ इन्होंने ये बता रहे थे कि भाई इसमें पैसा मिल गरीब लोगों को पैसा देंगे राजू गांधी वो राहुल गांधी वॉट आर दे गोइंग टू कम अपक्स टाइम टू लैक्स टेन लैक्स वाई स्टॉप एनी वेयर यू कैन गिव वन क्रोड पर पर्सन पर ईयर After all, there is a machine at the home at home that you can print money with. This is how the Congress had so much success, and this is perhaps the reason why Akhilesh insisted that Rahul Gandhi contest from Uttar Pradesh. Because in that narrative, they would have also spun this saying that, look, Rahul Bhaiya is contesting from Rai Bareilly. But all this happened right under the eyes of the Election Commission. as well as the opposite bhartiya janata party why did they not counter it all these questions of course now we have a lot of time to answer them and we have to introspect and and look people are stupid yes not everybody will fall for it but many appear to have i have also seen instances in previous elections where even middle class fell for 20000 rupees per vote promise from a particular person who happened to contest from the bjp nda combined this time of course he also lost he was expected to win but somewhere along the line these people uh, i guess underestimated the power of manipulation of uh, uh, i guess i don't know i can't, i don't want to say too much this is the reality guys most of the people in india alliance the way they won is basically giving promises that they know they cannot fulfill but to give them that instant rise that oh i'm going to get this much money and, and therefore if i only have to, all i have to do is to vote for them in fact this facebook promise should have been stopped they should have moved to the high court or supreme court to say that you can't make these kinds of promises so this 
law has to, the election law has to be modified to say that if you are going to make a promise to people, you have to show where the source of funding is going to be and that the funding is um, secure. Unless that kind of a re regulation is not put in in the election commission code of conduct, because then if he can prove that it is not there, then essentially he gets immediately disqualified. That's all is going to take place. This is this is not going to stop just like that by saying, oh, oh they said this thing in the heat of the moment. No, 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 no. You have to, the one time that they will listen to the government is when the election commission goes by the rule book, says you are, you know, you are not in compliance with this rule. Therefore, you are now being disqualified. This has to happen. Otherwise, I'm afraid India has no hope, no future. Because I don't think I'm going to have any expectations of the Modi government. Whatever happens is bonus. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.